So I went to the art shop the other day to buy some pencils and paper or whatever and as I was looking around I happened to come across this, a giant pencil and so of course I went ahead and bought it for this video. It's going to be a good one. How's it going everybody? I hope you're all doing good. So a bit of a different video today because like I said at the start, I have this giant pencil. I'm going to be creating a drawing only using this and I mean it even has its own eraser at the end of it. The only issue I have with this is that it's quite big so if I use it, it might end up rubbing out the majority of the drawing but I suppose that's the the price I pay for making mistakes. In all honesty I've been trying to figure out what I can actually draw with this because I want to challenge myself. I want to try and draw something that's quite detailed. It's going to be tricky because I can hardly grip this properly. I was trying to figure out what I could actually draw and how I'm going to do it with a pencil as big as this and then I had this idea to draw Godzilla because He's pretty giant and this pencil's giant and so it can kind of relate to each other. So in this video I'm going to be creating a drawing of the giant Godzilla with a giant pencil. I have no idea where I get these ideas from but let's go. Alright so first of all I need to get a bit of inspiration, I need to get an idea of what Godzilla actually looks like. Obviously I know what he looks like but there's loads of like different versions of him so I'm having a look at some of the images. But yeah look there's been loads of different versions throughout the years and uh, some really old ones. Look at this. Look at this. This must be one of the oldest versions. It actually looks like Godzilla is the one that's scared. I kind of like the the modern day version. Um, you know, from the the most recent Godzilla film. Uh, this this one looks quite good. It has these spikes going down its back. It looks pretty cool. This is probably the approach I'm going to take when I draw Godzilla. Um, obviously the old one isn't that scared. I can't go. I'm pretty sure that was probably when they used to just put a person in a costume and then that was Godzilla but I have an idea of what I'm drawing now so let's get on with this. Decided I'm going to have to sharpen the point of the pencil using a small blade because it's impossible for me to put any detail into the drawing when it's just like a flat surface like this. So right from the start I had an idea of how I wanted to go about composing this image and normally I would create some rough thumbnail sketches to give myself a few ideas but I wanted to keep this fairly simple seeing as I was working with a, a giant pencil. Anyways, as you saw at the beginning, I started off by making a really rough preliminary sketch and started to plan out where I wanted everything. I was going for a scene where Godzilla would be in the middle of a destroyed city surrounded by helicopters and all of that and uh, once I had a rough sketch down I just carried on with it. And so I decided just to jump right in and start adding texture and detail. The hardest thing was probably trying to hold and control the pencil and so I had to take my time with where I would place the pencil marks. Also I found out that I had to record this drawing from a side angle because when it was on a, a top down view the pencil would hit the camera but uh, this is speeded up a lot, it's in time lapse and the overall drawing had taken me a long time to finish, about seven and a half hours so quite a while to finish this but I really wanted to make something good for this video and uh, I'm not even sure what grade of pencil this was. It wasn't able to create very dark marks and so therefore I just had to carefully control the pressure I applied and I was able to get some kind of variation in the shades I was actually creating with it. But you can see that I'm using the eraser on the end of the pencil sometimes and uh, that was really annoying because I'd end up erasing too much of the drawing like I said at the start of the video just because of how big the actual eraser on the end of the pencil was and uh, I've done videos where I've used cheap pencils in the past and I think the quality of the graphite in this one 
if it even was graphite, um, was also bad quality. And the whole idea of this pencil is probably a gimmick. I don't actually think anyone would use this, except if they was really wanting to challenge themselves, like in this case. But as I was carrying on working into the drawing and using it, I started to actually get the hang of it. And I wanted to spend more time texturing Godzilla because that's the main focus of the drawing and I had the intention of placing him behind some buildings surrounded by all of this destruction. But yeah, the buildings were drawn in just a, a one point perspective and you can actually see the vanishing point where all the lines are converging towards and so the ruler at this stage was really helpful for placing these lines in the right direction. But in terms of how the giant pencil performed, it wasn't too bad, I got the hang of it eventually and like I said, the difficult thing was holding it but I realised that by sharpening it to a fine point it helped to create detailed marks, but I'll go ahead and let this time lapse play out. So there we go, that was the giant pencil drawing challenge and uh, a drawing of Godzilla. I had a lot of fun putting this together, I enjoyed doing something different once in a while. But yeah, that pretty much concludes this video, so as always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like because it really helps me out. And uh, yeah, have yourself a great day, I'll see you in the next one.